I would most like to encounter Giorgio Vasari, who wrote a book in 1550 called The Lives of the Most Excellent Painters, Sculptors, and Architects. And he was a painter himself, a friend of Michelangelo, and he was very involved with the art world of the Medicis and very uh, kind of very uh, partial to Florence compared to Venice and Rome. And so my next book is about artists and I would love to pick his brains in the afterlife. Brilliant. You know, when I read a book and really love it, I kind of tend to shy away from the movie. And then if I see the movie before the book, I tend rarely to go back to the book. Yeah, so the two are mutually exclusive. They are. I define happiness much like I define art or any of the kind of larger concepts that are central to my research. I include everybody's definition and it is in those hundreds of definitions and it is in that very multiplicity and in a way lack of definition that I find my meaning. I'm very interested in the perspective of others. I'm actually much more interested in other people's perspective than I am in my own. Uh, I spend a lot of time thinking about where I'm going to have my next swim. Uh, I'm, uh, I was born a swimmer and then I was born again a swimmer. I swam as a child and then I um, left it in my teenage years and I swar started swimming again at around the same time I started researching seven days in the art world. And I see myself as a marathon swimmer and a marathon writer. I like to write long, I like to research in depth, I like to corral masses of information. And I, I, I just have a, when I'm swimming, and I, I tend to do 100 lengths when I get in the pool, I, I kind of see that affinity between the two exercises. Occasionally I have to sprint, you know, if I agree to write a, you know, a blog on an auction or something like that and I have to write a thousand words in a couple hours immediately after the event. But it's a kind of unnatural exercise compared to the marathon. I guess Alice in Wonderland. I really, Alice is an ethnographer. She gets off on the strange and I often feel like I'm her when I'm out in the strange world of art. We're sitting in the